Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to answer a question from Brad Johnson and he's wondering how to replace this mat in a photo of his with the color and texture of the sand. So basically putting sand everywhere there's mat and keeping the shadow intact. So the photo is Brad Johnson's and I'll show you how to do it and hopefully show him how to do it. So the easy part is going to be replacing all this mat in the light and then the tricky part will be getting the shadow correct. So the first thing I'm going to do is press Control J to duplicate my background. And to start out, I'm just going to use the regular clone tool. And so press the S key or click over here. And then selecting an area close to where you want to clone. I'm going to select over there and then clone right beside the leg. And I'm going to use the patch tool later on. But for the patch tool to work, you need a good edge that doesn't merge into something else like a foot. So I'm going to paint sand all around this person and then I can quickly replace the rest of the mat. So I'm going to skip a little bit now. All right, so you see I've cloned a little path all around here. That's where I'm going to make my patch tool path. And in the patch tool, make sure you're on this third one down here, patch tool, not the spot healing brush or the other ones. And this one's great for replacing large areas of color. And when it replaces it, it replaces it with the texture that you head to and it doesn't matter about the colors. So Photoshop will match the color variation. Now you can see it's gonna... I'm on a darker color but that's okay just as long as the texture matches up. Maybe I'll pick some over here that the texture is a little more similar. Photoshop does a great job of blending it so you can't see where the line was. And you can see that this here dot is repeated and people can often spot repetition really easily. So I'm just going to create a little patch circle around there and replace that. All right, so I've done that part. Uh, I'm going to do a similar technique for this whole area. So using the clone tool again, I'm going to paint a little path all around this person. All right, so I've cloned a little path all the way around, so now I can use the patch tool again. So I'll click on that and then just draw. And I didn't bother worrying about the shadow which was under here. I'll deal with that at the end. We have to get away the blue in any case so I'll replace the blue in the first step. And I'm just going to pick a big sand area which is from over here. And you can see that it worked out pretty good. If there's any small problem areas that look a little funny you can select them and give them a new sand texture from like over there. And all right, so I'm going to do this middle part and exact same technique. I'm just going to clone in some sand right close to our body and then use the patch tool again. All right, so I've cloned all the way around the arms and now using the patch tool again, I'm going to just select and then grab some and I even kept part of the shadow like it should have and blended into the other area, but we still have some shadow fixing to do especially over here and all right so if we check the before and after you can see we're missing shadow under here we're missing some darker shadow here and some behind the arm now to get our shadows right uh, i'm going to have to refer back to our original image so i'll hide this top layer and now you can see there's some hard shadows going on here and here there's a really hard shadow here there's a hard shadow and here it's really soft so i'm going to have to do this in a couple steps so the first one I'm going to do is the soft shadows. So using the lasso tool, which is up here, I'm going to select the soft shadow area, which is mostly right here. And it goes out a little bit here. Maybe that's about it. Now I'm going to create a curves layer. And you can see that used the layer mask. And I'll hide this bring this top layer to visible again. Now to match the shadow we can see that under here under her body well, I haven't changed any pixels here so I, this dust here should match fairly close in color to the farther back pixels so I'll just bring it down a little bit and now you can see this is a really hard selection I'm gonna blur that so up to filter blur and Gaussian blur all right, I'll put it at three pixels, which wasn't very much for this image. If you're doing this on a large image, you're going to have like a 50 pixel blur. And then using the brush tool, I'm going to 
brush a little bit away down here, maybe a 20% opacity brush, and blend these two areas into each other. And now the reason I did this on a curves layer is now I can darken the shadow and lighten it up. And if we match it up to the original, you can see it matches relatively well. And we can also brush on this curves layer and create a little more shadow out here if we... Okay, now we're going to work on the hard edges. So I'll hide my two shadow layers and bring in the lasso brush, the lasso tool, and carefully select where the hard shadows are going to go. And we have some hard shadow over here. It goes over here and merges into the soft shadow. And another hard one here, but this one shouldn't have been modified at all. It's outside the mat. Another hard shadow here. It's important to get the little shadows under her feet and hands. Okay, we'll call that good for now. And then again, curves. Now this curves is only going to affect where we selected. So I'll bring in my edited layer and bring the curves down a little bit to darken it up. And then we're going to want to blur this a little bit too. So go on filter and blur and Gaussian blur. And we're going to have to put this way down the full size image. You can probably put this at 10 pixels or something. All right. So I'm going to put it at 0.7 for this low res one. And now I'm going to want to remove it from her arms. So I'm going to brush black on this curves layer so we don't get any shadows there. And I'll bring in my other shadow layer. Now I'm actually going to put them in a group so I can quickly show, show and hide this entire group of images by just clicking on this group eyeball. So now I can quickly compare and see where my problems are. Under this leg, it's still a little darker on the mat. So I'm going to bring this one down a fair bit more. Over here, it's too much. So I'm going to brush on this curves layer. So I'm going to paint with black and 20% to remove part of this contrast layer and soften up this edge here. And you can see over here, this one has gotten way too dark. So I'm going to brush a lot on it and it doesn't have to be, it needs to be merged into the other one. And you can see I got a little bit on the hands over here. So I'm going to brush with black and I can just brush with zero and erase all the shadow I got on the hands. Now it's starting to get fairly good in here. I still have a little bit of work to do on the one arm there. There should be shadow going angling in there. So I will brush on my dark layer here. All right, so it's also important a reason to keep this initial layer because you have to keep on flipping back and forth to compare. And so it's getting pretty close. Right now, I think the biggest problem is maybe under this foot, the sharp line right here. And on here, there should be a soft shadow underneath that arm. Right now, there's a hard shadow. So I'm going to work on that a little bit more. And on my shadow layer again, brush a little white to bring in shadow. And then once I get this part how I want it, I can make my brush a little softer, 20%, and brush black, and then merge in this side here. All right, looking at it from a distance, you can see it's getting pretty close. I could probably make a little more shadow on the outside there. All right, so I'm going to add a little more out here. You can see it sort of stretches out here from some light source. And now it's getting to the point where if you didn't see the original, you probably wouldn't notice any errors in the shadow. Uh, this may be one stretching out over there. I could remove a little shadow. Okay, so you can probably play with this forever, getting it perfect. But I think for this example, this shows you the technique and gets a pretty close result. And that's it. For more tutorials, head over to tutorvid.com.